Gita Engineer D. Thanks for supporting our channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the button below. Alright, today we're gonna break down Little Wing. This is like the ballad. It's the, the most beautiful ballad Hendrix ever wrote. And it's almost like a jazz standard, like everybody knows at least the chords and has his version, everybody plays it. Stevie Ray Vaughan very famously did his instrumental version. We're gonna break down today the, the album version, the classic Little Wing from Axis Boulder's Love. So let's zoom in. <laughs> That's how we start, not using the pick but thumb and index and middle finger because we have a chord here, it's all on your 12th fret. Use the thumb for the low E string, the index for the upper two strings, first and second. And on your right hand, to hit only these strings, you use your thumb here and index and middle up here. And low E string with your thumb. Meanwhile, or after this, the pick, which is in the palm of your hand, comes into action, get it into position. Whole thing, might watch my right hand. That would be <clears throat> open A, fifth string, second fret, hammer on, then open G string, then fifth and seventh with hammer on on the fifth string, and then you hit the fifth fret on fourth and third. Hammer on to the 7th fret on the 4th, slide down, and then you slide to the G with your thumb, 3rd fret, hit the, the open G string, 3rd, and then you do this hammer on, pull off thing, 3rd fret, fifth and back and hidden the second string with it on the third. Then you hit the first two strings again on the third fret. Then open G string two Fourth, hammer on to fifth immediately. Hammer on to fifth, loosen it, go back, loosen it to fourth fret, and you're always hitting this second second string with it. Oh, just keep your fingers here on the third fret, your, your index. this figure on the fifth fret on the fourth string go to the low string where you still have your thumb which moves up two half steps and we're an A let it ring then that is fifth and seventh on the fifth string then you hit the fifth fret where you have kind of your index all the time now on the third string back to the fifth string seventh fret now that is you hit third and second and do on the fifth you have your index here all the time and then you do the hammer on on the 
fourth as third string, second is ringing, up to seventh fret, back to the fifth fret here, third and second string. And now you hear at fourth and third string, and same thing, hammer on to the seventh fret on your fourth string. Now you go to your fifth string. And do fifth, hammer on, but a slower one, like two notes, not, not just, just hammer on. Just. So on your eighth string, fifth string here, you do the hammer on with, keep your time. Back to fourth string here, fifth fret, and now <clears throat> quick hammer on. On the low E string, your thumb is at the fifth, hammer on to seventh fret, and you hit the low open E string. Now, that is 7th fret on your 3rd string, then on the 2nd string you do 8th and 10th hammer on pull off, and back to the 7th fret on the 3rd. That is 7th fret on your 5th string, twice, then you hit the 10th on the 5th and the 4th starts ringing with it. All, your index is all over the 7th fret. So 10th fret on the 5th, loosen it. Now you hit the 4th and 3rd string, your index still here. Now you hit the 9th fret on the 4th, still hitting the 3rd with it. Loosen that again, back to the 10th fret on the 5th, and you hit the 3 strings now. The last one is just 7th fret on these 3 strings. Here we are on B minor with a 9. But let's do that E thing once more. So how you play this one? You take the thumb on the 7th. Third, fourth and third, ninth and seventh fret. And now you have your pinky on the ninth fret. You strum down like softly and let that ring. That ninth is so beautiful. And you hit it twice so you. Back to 3rd and 2nd chord on your 7th fret, string, sorry, 3rd and 2nd string on the 7th fret. So do that one more time, thumb, low E string, and 4th and 3rd, then you add that ring, go back to 2nd and 3rd string. Back to the first string with a second. And then you hit. You put the pinky on the 10th fret on the second. And loosen it and hit the second and first string on the 7th fret.
and back to fourth and third string. These fingers don't move. They're here all the time. And then a low E string to, to come to the major, B flat major. Normal. And here we are at A minor again. This time you play it like this. You use your middle finger here. Usually you would use your ring finger. Because you have to get up here. So, fourth string on the seventh, fifth on the fret on the third string. And now don't move your finger here. The index is on the third string, fifth fret, and you play in the melody on the on the fourth string. Hammer on to ninth, fifth string is still ringing. Back to seventh fret and fifth, all on the fourth string. Now we come to four, fifth and fourth string. Index stays on the fifth here. You hit eighth and seventh fret on the fifth string. Whole thing. Back to fourth and third string. Just hit fifth and seventh and go back on the fourth and here we are in G you do that with a hammer on from fifth to seventh now we hear in G a, a new chord very beautiful so you hit the third fret with your thumb 5th fret on the 4th string, then the G string is open and it's gonna be, it's gonna stay open while you move this chord here. And it's 3rd fret on 2nd string, index, pinky on the 5th string on the 1st string. That's the chord. You don't hit the upper strings at the beginning. Just sixth, then fourth and third. Just the same note if your guitar is in tune. <clears throat> and then as you hit the chord, you slide up two half steps with the same chord. That would be seventh on fourth string, open G, fifth on second, and seventh on first string. Back to the original without slide. Slide up. No slide. Low E string and sliding two half steps down to an F chord. And that's where you, after sliding down, where your thumb is gonna land on the F first fret. But you're not hitting it with your with your pick already. You slide down, do the whole thing. And yet now you hit first, fourth and third string and then the low string with a thumb on first fret and then you keep doing this until reaching the C once more the whole thing very beautiful and here you are on C with a you play the the, the open A string first and hammer on to C What's happening here on the C? It's like a normal open C chord, but you have to press the third string 
and the fourth down on second fret with your middle finger. It's not the open like usual. You have to press both strings with one finger, the middle finger. Because you need pinky and index on the second string. With a pull off from third to first fret. Back to C on the fifth, third fret on the fifth string. Here we are on D. Just a power chord. That's the ending. So let's play from that from the C once more. That would be hammer on to the ninth, fret on your fourth string and the index is on the seventh. Over the two strings, third, fourth. Loosen your finger on the Fourth, then go to the fifth string on to the tenth fret. Keep your index here, and then you go to seventh and ninth, all on the fifth string. While always playing seventh fret over third and fourth string. Now comes the strum fill. And here we go. First singing verse starts with the same slide as the intro. Down to the low E, and then you come, you do a trill. A trill. And then you play the low E string and and the second fret on the fourth. Uh, it's an E too. And then you do a hammer on pull off on the fourth string, second fret, and hammer on on the fifth string, second fret two. Here we are on the G whole thing. G and that. That is a nice chord too. It's third string, third fret, uh, second string, third fret, third string, second fret, and fourth string, fifth. So you use your pinky here on the fourth string. But first you hit the upper strings. So the melody you go back, first you hit these two, then you can use your pinky on the fourth string, fifth fret, back here. Then you hit the fourth fret on the third string. Back to the first one. Pinky again. And then all together. Sounds like this. Then you, after this figure, you hit the, the low G again, strum the strings. And hit the, the 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 A with your thumb, and let it ring. So that would be let it ring, and then.
That is first uh, fifth fret on the third string, ninth on the fourth, and you just come down on the fourth string, ninth, seventh, fifth, then. Then you hit 5th fret over 5th and 4th, then hammer on to 7th fret on the 5th, and then you do a trill oh. on the 4th string, hitting the 3rd with it on the 5th, and the trill is on the 7th. Low E string, and then, like before, it's you have your you have the seventh fret on the third, and on the second string, it's hammer on, pull off from eight to tenth. and then you let let it ring. Hitting the let that ring up there hitting the ninth thread on the fourth. Now, now you loosen that finger here, the ring finger on the fourth thread, and come down from the second to the fifth with this chord. It's all on the seventh fret and the second string is on the eighth. Here we are on B. So the whole thing. Now we come to this beautiful figure. So. So you hit the, the seventh on with your thumb and then that is first string, seventh, ninth, seventh, tenth string, tenth fret, second string, seventh fret, not second string. And that is you hit 2nd and 3rd on the 7th, then you do hammer on pull off, hit in the same strings, with on the ninth here, coming down to 4th string ninth. and then you repeat that figure but from B minor you go to B flat major. So so it's so you hear on your seventh with your middle finger, on the sixth with your index, with your ring finger you're on the eighth. Thumb is on the sixth. And the hammer on pull off is with your pinky on the third fret. It, Third string A. So so it's a thumb on the fifth, and then it's this A minor again. You use your middle finger here on the fourth fret on the fourth string, seventh fret, fifth fret on the third string. And you come down again here. That is index stays on the fifth on the third string. On the fourth you come down to the fifth over seventh. Ninth, ninth, seventh, fifth.
All right. Whole thing. That would be... You do a pull-off on the 5th string, 8th to 7th. And you hit the 5th fret on the 4th. Then again hit 8th fret, 5th string. 5th fret here on the 4th on the string is still ringing. And then do a hammer-on to that same interval. And we land on the G. So Another very beautiful figure on the G. That is thumb on your third. Then you have here the, the third fret with your index on the second and third string. You hit the low, you hit the, the open G string, third string. And do this hammer on pull off on fourth, fifth, still on the G string. Come down to fifth string, fifth fret on the fourth. Slide down with that finger to the third fret. And we here we are on special F chord, which is 3rd fret, that's where you slide down, open G, 1st fret, 2nd, 3rd fret, 1st string, and be careful with the rhythm, that's very distinct. And then you, you come down the whole chord and you're gonna move your your middle finger to the A string, fifth string. Come down here the whole chord. And to see And he hits the two low strings on the third with a hammer on. So you're coming from this. So hammer on to the, on the third fret of the two low strings. And then you hit. The fourth string on the second. Second string on the first, back to fourth string, second, and then it's just the power chord on the D. whole thing, the ending. And here we are, another drum fill, and to the next verse. All right, this time to go back to the low E, he just hits drums the strings twice. That's the 
figure. So, let that ring, and then. Very nice. So you, you're on the second string, 12th fret, and do a hammer on the 14th and pull off. And you let the first string open, ring. Now you come down to your third string, 14th fret, and let the second string ring open. Then 12th fret on the third string. Now, now you come down to your fourth string. That second string might still ring. So and then down to your fifth string. Just a hammer on from 12th to 14th. Slide down to G. Yeah. So you two. We're, we're on the G. And then you hit the third and second string. Second and third fret. And then you slide up two, two half steps and back and forth. Without hitting the the strings, and then you hit them once more. So once more. Um, that is the A. So we're coming to the to the A in a chromatic way. With your thumb, you you can damp the strings with the, they call it the heel of the hand. So you, you damp the low E string a bit while moving up with your thumb. Uh, once more here the G. Hit it again. Let it ring. Now you hit this chord the last time to hit Immediately the third, fourth, and fifth on the low E string. The A, you let it ring, don't damp it. So. Now. That is on the low string, fifth. Eight, then fifth on fifth and fourth string. Hammer on to the seventh on the fifth string. Back and then we had that before fifth seventh. Hammer on and slide down. Here we are at the E again. Now, not that before too. It's the same thing. Eighth and tenth hammer on pull off, and the, the the index is on the seventh fret on the third string. Now you hit twice the fourth string on the ninth. Slowly, the seventh fret on the fifth string, and to go to the the B minor, kind of waits and then does this. So that would be you hit you hit the. 
fourth string on the seventh with an upstroke, then downstroke, immediately hammer on up to the ninth of that fourth string and hit it on the ninth with a pick. So that's how it works. That that might ring, the third string might ring on the seventh fret. That's very beautiful. So the whole thing on the E. And here we have to wait a little. Let that ring. before just with another rhythm you're on the seventh fret index first two strings then ninth fret back again then tenth fret on the second and then you that normal major chord that would be seventh on second and third and then come down one string like this other ring to the seventh on the fourth and then you hit the B flat major And now instead of going to the A like everybody would expect, that's where he, where he always goes, he, he plays this fill. That would be 5th fret, 2nd and 1st. And hammer on, pull off to the seventh fret on the second string. And then you hit the fourth string on the seventh fret, but without strumming it. Just rings. And now you hit it. You play this figure, you hit it, then you play this fifth fret on second and third string, then you hit fourth and third string, still here on the seventh on the fourth string, and land on fifth string, uh, fifth fret, third and fourth string. So Uh, let's do that coming down maybe once more. Got it? I hope so. The next one. So fifth fret, fifth string, hammer on to the seventh. Then you have fifth string, fifth fret on the fourth and third. Then hit the eighth fret on the fifth string. Don't move your fingers here. So, eighth fret, back to the fifth here on third and fourth string, 
back to the eighth on the fifth string and to slide down the seventh fret on the on the fifth string and here they don't move. move down. Here we are on the G. So let's do that A part once more. Here we are on the G. Back to G. So we have the same figure here. Before it's second and third fret here on third and second string. And then you do that hammer on pull off thing. On the third string, fourth fret. And now you go back to the fifth fret on the fourth string. Usually you would use your pinky, now you gotta use your ring finger. Because your finger's gonna move to that typical G chord, but directly. Typical that section of the song. And slide it up immediately. To be back. Slide it down and hit it once more. Okay, one more time. And to go back to C, he hits the, the low F here, first fret with your thumb twice. And then slides up with a thumb until the fifth fret. The whole thing. Here you go to a power chord, C, E as well. Um, the rhythm is this. The C is really just the power chord here, fifth and fourth string. Then when you hit the D, you hit the seventh fret of the third string and fourth string, kind of. Rhythm is like this. tremolo and bend it down a lot but slowly until you hit the solo. So that is on the 12th fret, it's the upper four strings. And here we go, solo. Start on the 15th fret, bend it up to the two half steps on the second string. Take your time. Then do that again, but this time quicker. And you're here on the 15th fret without bending. 12. Then hammer on the 15th. Back to, your, to the 12th. Now, but it's not or something like that. You bend the, the, the 15th fret two half steps up before you play it. So, and then you just bend it down and hit the 12th fret on the third string. Then, 14th fret, 3rd string, 15th on the 2nd, and then 4th 
fourteenth, two half steps up, and then on the third string, and then just the fourteenth fret without bending. Do that again. Now that's a that's a hammer on from the fourteenth to the sixteenth and pull off. 14th to 16th, pull off, then 12th, 14th. All right. Okay, here we have two bandings and you have to get the melody right. Let's let's play it once more from them. Very very beautiful melody. You got to get that right. Listen to it. So from that hammer on pull off thing again. Then you land on the 14th fret again. You bend it up two half steps. Down. And up again. Just hit your string once. Let it ring and then you're up, you're up there already. Bend down. Hit the 12th. And the 14th on the 4th. Very beautiful, okay. Um, uh, here. So we are here on that 14th fret, 4th string, 12th fret, 4th string, 12th fret, 3rd string, 14th band. Don't hit the string, I hit it because I ran out of sustain, but if you play that a little faster like you would, you don't have to hit the string, it's just from your fingers here on the left. So, 12 on the 3rd, hammer on 14 and bend 2 half steps up. Back to 12, hammer on again. Back to 14th, then 12th and hammer on again. Again. So you're kind of doing all the same thing all the time, but the melody, the rhythm is very, very important. So from... Now you slide up to the 16th fret from the 14th. You have this figure twice and then you slide from the 14th to the 16th. You're still on the third string. Now you slide, you're, you're on your ring finger. Now you take your index. You come from that slide and index on the 14th and slide to the 12th. So. Sorry. Bend again the 14th. Come down and that is 13th and 12th on the second string. But you you bend down that you bend down that that third string from the 14th. 
repeat that. It's just third and thirteenth and pull off to twelfth on the second. Twelfth on the third string and now bend the fifteenth fret two half steps up on the second string and then you do a you bend down and pull off to the twelfth so the whole thing once more and now and that flagell lay. So let's break down that ending. That is a 14th fret on the third string. You bend that up two half steps and then you hit the 15th fret on the first twice. Repeat but just once the first string now, you just hit it once, first twice and then you slide down to the 12th fret on your third string to do this which is 13th fret on the two upper strings, 1st, 2nd, 12th on the 3rd string and then bend it up. Then hit the 13th again. And at the end, do this uh, kind of bend up and down. And then hit the two strings. You're kind of hitting the second and third all the time. Now, at the end of this figure, um, once more from up here. Alright, now hit the second string only, and then you bend down. You, you hold that bending, 12th fret, 3rd string, hit the 2nd one, on the, still on the 13th fret, and now it, the bending comes down to 12th fret here again, and then you hit the last time the 2 strings, 12th and 13th on 3rd and 2nd. Let's do that one once more. That is seventh fret on third, eighth fret on second, and then you do a hammer on pull off on the third string to the ninth fret. And you land on the fourth string, tenth fret. And you play that twice, exactly the same. Now slide up to 10th fret and the, the chord, the figure is going to be the same, just two half steps up. So take your whole hand like it is up here, but you just hit the, the fourth string here. Slide to it and then hit it again and then that is that same hammer on just two half steps up. Now something different.
which is you're on the two strings here, second and third, and you're on the eleventh, uh, on the third, the tenth, and now on, on the second and on the third string, you play this figure now, and the second string rings all the time, which is eleventh, twelfth, eleventh, ninth. So. Still the same figure or same position of your hand. And now you play, you play on the third string, eleventh, ninth, then tenth on the fourth string, back on the two upper strings, third and second, fingers don't move, and back on the 12th fret, sorry, on your 4th string and and be careful the rhythm is also kind of distinct so that flageolet comes off the beat and so does the that last note here. And here we go, fading out. That would be 15th fret, 2nd string, repeat that, bend up, bend two half steps up, repeat that, third time, then just 15th fret, no bending, 14th fret, 3rd string, two steps up, bend in, and then you do that bend down, pull off thing, to 12th fret on the 3rd string, 14th on 4th string, to come back to the 3rd string, 14th fret, band it up, alright, whole thing. That would be from that banding. You play the 15th fret over 2nd and 1st string. And now re you repeat a couple of, three, four times. This figure, it's, you bend the 3rd string on the 14th fret, up two half steps up. And hit the 15th fret on the 1st string. But you start on the 1st string. So, we come up from here. One more time. And now you bend that note down and let it ring on the 14th fret. You're up here already, right? Bend it down, let it ring. Then we have that figure, we had that before, let's do that again. So, you're on your 14th, 12th, 14th, 14th on the 4th string, back to 3rd string, 12th. Actually, you just, you don't hit that last one, back to 14th, it's a hammer-on. And 
Expanding again. Let it ring. Okay, so once more. And fade out. So what is that last bit? You heard on that note? Let it ring, come down, and it's, you don't hit it, it's still ringing. And fade out. All right, thanks for watching our little wing tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer it. And see you next time.